Well, Darren, defeat today, but ultimately it doesn't matter. You've stayed up, and the fans, I think, have shown just shown their appreciation for you and, and the players at the end of the season. Yeah, it's nice for them to stay behind. Uh, I don't like losing. I hate losing, and, uh, but I also have to be strong enough and, as a man uh, to thank the players uh, for what they've achieved in a short space of time, and it has been quite incredible. But having said that, they still wanted to, to go away with the win. I thought it was very disappointing in the final third again, where we're lacking. You, know, you can't have that amount of possession, um, and they have like one or two chances, and uh, we end up losing that game. But it was disappointing from, from our point of view, but well, at least we know where we've got to work on and where we've got to recruit, because that's really important for me next year. As I was say, it's just rammed home to you. The recruitment has got to be of a striker or two. Are you already uh, casting your eyes around? And do you know who's going to be available and who's going to be released? We know, you know, as far as who you want. It's just whether you get them soon or whether you've got to wait. And uh, all I know is that I've been given a lot of help. And uh, you know, people talk about those. Connor Roberts, who scooped all the water, and uh, he's given everything for this football club. So, ruling out the top quality loan, um, but it's definitely an area that I want to improve on. You mentioned Conor Roberts scooping all those Premier year awards. Is there a chance he could be back here on loan next season? I think it's too early to say because it's important Conor reflects on what he's done in his career and uh, what he has achieved in this season and only this one game is, is a fantastic achievement for a young player. And of course, uh, it is defeat, but uh, you can still reflect on the second half of the season and the uh, huge success under your manager, managerial ship. I just look at the players and I look at the way that game uh, progressed. And there's no two ways about it. We absolutely dominated them. I mean, as far as possession is concerned, it must be 60, 40, easily. And uh, if there was ever a reason for it to happen today, I've learned a lot from that, like I always do, win or lose or draw. And um, it just gives me a lot to, to, to work with over the summer. And uh, but it's important the players re, you know, address what they've done this season because when they look back on it, the supporters at one stage, everyone thought this club was dead. And what I'm saying now, what you've seen today and what you see last Saturday is alive again, and that, that makes me happy. So when do the players break up the summer and when will you be informing the players who are out of contract of their fate, Darren? Obviously next week's a big week. Uh, I'll speak to the board of directors and uh, we'll come to a plan and uh, I'll sit down and address what we've got and what we need to keep and uh, no panic. Do you know in your own head 90-95% of what you're going to do with the players who are currently here? You would like to think so. But I think agents have become more powerful than the chairman and the manager now. So you're almost trying to rely on the agent as to whether he wants to wait. Um, I can't afford to wait. I need a decision. They know me. They know what this club's all about. If they enjoy it here, they'll stay. If not, then they'll move on.